Hello everyone, this episode is specially dedicated to sacred images. As you can see with me, I have the crucifix and also the image of our mother, Blessed Virgin Mary. Yeah, because so many people ask several questions like what do we do with them, why do we keep them? Some even think that we worship them. These are all emanating from the wrong notion of the injunction of God in Exodus chapter 20 that we should not create images to be worshipped. Yes, but there is a need to understand certain things. Firstly, the people of Israel were surrounded by neighboring cultures who worship carved or molded images. According to Psalm 115 verse 4 to 7, you will see that they have mouth, they cannot speak, they, they have eyes, they cannot see and the rest. But this commandment is really saying something that people nowadays misunderstand. Firstly, in Exodus chapter 20 verse 2, the Bible says, I am the Lord thy God who brought you out of your slavery in Egypt. And in verse 3, the Bible says, you shall have no other gods before me. That is the commandment. I am your God. Have no other gods before me. However, to expatiate on this commandment, the Bible says in verse 4, you shall not make carved images for yourself. This is because they represent other gods as seen in the neighboring cultures surrounding the people of Israel. That is why replacing God with these images is what this injunction prohibits. And so it does not prohibit other images. And we see them in the Bible, in the religious life of the people of Israel, of how they use images as object of worship. Not that they, re they replace God. In Exodus chapter 25, verse 18 to 19, the Ark of the Covenant represents God's presence. The Ark is not God, but represents Him and reminds the people of Israel of the covenant with Him. On it also is the Hebrew Kaporet, known in English as the Mercy Seat, with two cherubim on it. The cherubim represent angels, but they are not angels, they are just representing angels. In Numbers chapter 21, verse 4 to 9, remember the story of the bronze fairy serpent that became a symbol of healing. The bronze serpent did not replace God but became a symbol of God's healing. In Numbers chapter 6, verse 23 to 32, the Bible also describes how the walls of the temple have been decorated fancifully with carved images of angels and flowers. Solomon made sure that the walls were so decorated. And we see in 1 Kings chapter 9, verse 3, the Bible says God was pleased with it and his eyes and heart are in the temple. So the implication of it all is that God never condemned the use of images for religious worship, but God condemns it when it is replacing God. Why images in the first place you may ask? It is because we are both physical and spiritual beings. We relate with God with physical things. God's creation reminds us of him. Looking at the images of the saints does honor to them but gives the glory to God who walked wonders through them. Just as the painting of a very beautiful sunset reminds us of the maker of the sunset who is God. Some of us we have our pictures, the pictures of our loved ones long after they have died. It doesn't mean that we are worshipping them. Some of us even tune to our television stations and watch some of our pastors. Yes, it doesn't mean we are worshipping those images. These are also images. When we see the national flag of any country, it represents that country. You can't burn the national flag in trouble. We do not worship images. They are simply objects of worship to God, the creator of all things. I hope I've shared something nice with you. Please, you can do that to share to us. Thank you.